got the old 55 running here. Need to warm it up and check its fluids. I got too much stuff in my hands to open the door though. It's another glorious Saturday that I don't have to work. So I'm going to put this, this four-wheeler as much together as I can. I'm still missing parts. And push it outside probably. I'm not going to say all the stuff I'm going to do because usually I don't get it all done. I'm going to do some stuff this weekend. That's what I'm going to do. And hopefully some of that stuff includes cleaning up a little. Well, since it's such a pretty day, I think it's supposed to get in the 40s today. I'm just going to work on this old blazer outside a little bit. I need to put hinge pins in it. Let me see if I can get it where you can see. Pretty bad shape. I'm going to replace those, and I think how I'm going to do it. Let's take the door off and then I can get the hinges real nice and replace the pins and bushings. That's my plan anyway. Alright, got the door off. Here's how I'm doing it. Took my little cutoff wheel right there, sliced the pin in half right here, drove this one down and this one up. And the reason I did that is it's got a little nub right there on the bottom to hold the pin in. I suppose you might drive past that to get it up, but why work harder than you have to? I'm going to do the same thing on the top. Alright, I put the new little bushings in. Pressed them in with a pair of vice grips. That was easy enough. And now I just need to drive that pin the rest of the way in. Make sure you put something on the bottom side there. So you don't bend the hinge while you're whacking on it. Alright, new hinge pins are in. And they work too. That's always nice. Now I need to find some young lady to help me put this door back on. Alright, we're getting the door on with the use of a jack and a little miss. And this girl has been wearing me out. Dad, I'm cold. Dad, I want a horse. Dad, what's for lunch? Can we invite somebody over for supper? Um, I need more makeup. I need new boots. Golly horse. I can't even remember it all. What else was there? <laughs> Nothing. Alright, now we get to see how we did. We got the bolts all sort of tight. Matching up the way they were. Now this door didn't shut too good before, but is it hitting anything over there? It looks okay. Shuts better, but it's still a little tight here. We might have to. Let's do some studying on it. You look good in there, girl. All right, the door don't fit just right, but I can't get to the hinges bolt. I can't get to the bolts on the hinges under this fender. What I need to do is loosen up those bolts and tilt the door up. But I'm not taking the fender off right now to get to it. So I guess we're going to have to live with how it is. He's been living with it for quite some time. But I did adjust the striker post right there. So the door shuts decent now. It didn't shut too good before. Well, maybe I would need to adjust it a little more. But it's better than it was. Let me tweak on it a little bit more. That's not a horseshoe. <laughs> That's a boot for a golf club. Looks like a boot for a horse. <laughs> hey, jar him up off the dope. Still gotta slam it a little harder than I'd like. Just a little more. 
I noticed something a while ago. Somebody's been in here doing some something. You can see they've been grinding and I believe that's cracked right there and there. Hmm. We might might not be able to get her just perfect this time. We'll get her as good as we can though. Alright, I spent enough time videoing this, but I got it working okay. Not as good as I'd like, but the man wants me to paint this thing and fix all the rust and all that. We can fool with that more later. What I'm going to do now is change the valve cover gaskets. This side won't be so bad. This side, I'm going to have to move that AC compressor out the way. Or at least partially. But it shouldn't be too big of a deal. In the meantime, Little Miss is pumping up the tire. Our truck over there, which evidently has a slow leak. Then we're charging the battery. We might drive it later. And there's the valve cover gasket. Pretty crusty. I'm going to put these ones on it. They're rubber with steel core. Motor looks nice and clean inside. That's good. Alright, got the valve covers re gaskets replaced. And put everything back together. I think now, look at this, still got the chalk on the firewall. Now I'm going to turn around and pull the wheels off the back and have a look at the rear brakes. Just as I suspected, wheel cylinders are bad on the back. The reason I suspected it is the master cylinder was empty when I was doing the brakes on the front. So, let's see if the local parts store has this stuff. I kind of doubt it. They never have nothing I need, including a flasher. I went to a down there to get a flasher one time and didn't have one. Anyway, <clears throat> let me see. But they are knowledgeable and competent. Trouble is they don't have nothing. This side ain't been leaking. But since we got to replace the shoes anyhow on the other side because they're about wore out and soaked with brake fluid, it seems like a good idea to put a new wheel cylinder on this side too. And by the way, this is what's bad on your vintage vehicles, folks. All that dirt and mass accumulated. But it has nice new shocks. Just as I suspected, the local store didn't have them, so me and the little miss are going to have to take a trip. I might even let her drive if I'm feeling lucky. All right, back from the parts store, putting my brake shoes on, got new wheel cylinder in. Little miss did a fine job driving, by the way. But this is the kind of crap that annoys a fella. See here? Ugh. Adjuster goes right there, but it won't fit in the hole on the new brake shoe. So I gotta drill it out. The shoes are right, other than that. I don't know where they're made at, but I got a good guess. There, I just used my handy MCO safe set to set the brake shoes at the correct diameter. And all you do there is Put in your brake drum, like so, and set it, and then slip it over your brake shoes, like so. Let's we'll see how it works. Seemed to work very well. Alright, I didn't think to do any videoing of the brake bleed, but I reckon everybody's seen that before. We got the wheels and all back on it. The only thing I got left to do to this thing is fix the exhaust leak under it and I think I can let the man have it back unless he wants me to get new tires for it. Which he might. But this is a sweet blazer. I'm gonna let him have it back. He can drive it a while. See if there's any other mechanical issues and as soon as I get caught up on a couple things we'll tear into painting.